Hello Lighthouse by Sophie Blackall. On the highest rock of a tiny island at the edge of the world stands a lighthouse. It is built to last forever, sending its light out to sea, guiding the ships on their way. From dusk till dawn, the lighthouse beams. Hello, 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 lighthouse. The new keeper arrives to replace the old to carry on tending the light. He polishes the lens and refills the oil and trims the burned end of the wick. Throughout the night, he winds the clockwork that keeps the lamp in motion. During the day, he gives the round room a fresh coat of sea green paint. He writes in the log book and threads his needle and listens to the gathering wind. The wind takes a deep breath and blows and blows. Hello, hello, hello. The keeper boils water and drinks his tea as he fishes for cod from the window. He sets the table and hums a tune and wishes for someone to talk to. Every few days he writes her a letter and throws it into the waves. He tends the light and writes in the log book and waits for her reply. The sky grows dark and the waves rise and crash. Hello, hello, hello. The keeper looks through his telescope. The tender arrives, bringing oil and flour and pork and beans and his wife. He shows her around the round rooms of their house. He tends the light and writes in the log book and sets the table for two. The fog makes everything disappear. A bell must be rung to warn the ships. Clang, clang, clang. One thick night disaster strikes. A boat is wrecked on the rocks. Not a moment to lose, the keeper rows out. He pulls three sailors from the deep black sea. He tends the light and writes in the log book and wraps the sailors in blankets. The sea turns into a carpet of ice. Hello, hello, hello. One dawn, the keeper begins to sneeze. By dusk, he is terribly ill. His wife is everywhere all at once, running up and down spiral stairs. She tends the light and feeds him broth and chips ice off the lantern room windows. She sits by his side and writes in the log book. The moment his fever breaks, the icebergs pass by on their journey south. The whales pass by on their journey north. Hello, hello, hello. Inside the lighthouse, the woman walks around and around the room. Her husband boils water and helps her breathe in and out. He tends the light and writes in the log book and notes the birth of their child. The sky erupts in swirls of green. Hello, hello, hello. The tender arrives bringing oil and flour and pork and beans and the mail, along with fresh books and news from the land. There's an unexpected letter with the Coast Guard seal. The keeper winds the clockwork and polishes the lens just as he's always done. He tends the light and writes in the log book, but knows that it's not for long. Together they watch the horizon. The Coast Guard arrives with a brand new light and installs the machine to run it. No lamp to fill, no wick to trim. The keeper's work is done. He climbs to the top of the spiral stairs and closes the log book for good. They pack their belongings into the boat and wave farewell to the gulls. Beyond the breakers, they all look up. Goodbye, lighthouse. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. On the highest rock, of a tiley island at the edge of the world stands a lighthouse. 
It is built to last forever, sending its light out to sea. The fog rolls in and the fog rolls out. The waves rise and crash. The wind blows and blows. Hello, hello, hello. Over the waves across the bay, a light on the land beams back. Hello, 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 lighthouse.